All right, guys, welcome back. Um, as last time I told you, I was going to do another recipe on the raccoon. Today, we're going to put it in the crock pot for about eight hours, cook it till it's good and tender, bone off the bone. We're going to pull the meat off the bone, and we're going to put it back in the crock pot with uh, two big jars of uh, sausage and gravy. Um, this is a recipe we do with uh, chicken. We do it with turkey, and it's really good. Um, it's, it, it can only be good with the raccoon meat. Uh, so, all right, it's going to be a simple thing with ingredients. We got a front shoulder of a raccoon. We got a back ham. We have one large onion, coarsely cut up. And we have our seasonings, which is uh, four teaspoons of salt, two teaspoons of coarsely black pepper, and then we have one teaspoon of uh, onion powder. We don't want to overwhelm it. And what we're going to do is, we're actually going to put all of this into a crock pot for about eight hours. And then we're going to pull the meat off the bone. We're going to put it in a, back in the crock pot. And we're going to put two big jars of uh, country sausage and gravy that you can buy off the shelf and let it cook another hour or so. And then we'll put it on a biscuit or light bread or something like that, you know. People call it crap on a shingle, but it's really good. We do it with turkey. We do it with chicken. And, man, both ways is unbelievable. So I'm hoping you like this little short video. It's really good, and maybe you can try it. Okay, we got a crock pot. It's half full of water. We'll put the two pieces of raccoon meat in here. That's just pure lean, guys. I mean, that's just like deer meat. And uh, we'll put it in there. We're going to put the big old onions in it. And then we're going to take the seasoning, sprinkle it in. And that's it. We're going to turn this pot pot on. And I guess I'll get back with y'all in about, uh, eight hours all right guys the raccoon is done the meat is just falling off the bone so now we're going to scoop out the meat and put it in a collar and let it cool off a little bit so we can actually pull all the meat off and uh then we'll transfer it to a small crock pot with the uh sausage and gravy biscuits so we'll go ahead and get this out that smells good i don't care who you are mm. Got a good smell to it. it. Smells just like beef. Mm. That is hot. Put them onions in there. Look at how good them onions look. So, like I said, we're gonna let it sit here, y'all, and we'll let it cool off, and that way I can actually uh, pull the meat off the bone. All right, guys, the meat's cooled off enough, I believe, so I can pull it apart. And what we do is we drop it in this bowl right here. Whew. Yeah, she's a little hot. Oh, golly. Might have to get some, uh, get a fork. It's just falling off the bone. Look at that. Nice, good looking meat. You know, and some of y'all, y'all might be saying, ooh, ooh, but I guarantee you, guarantee you, your grandparents or your great-grandparents ate raccoon meat. Especially back during the Depression, they was eating everything, cats, dogs, whatever. People were so hungry and poor. But you can see how it's falling off the bone? Whew. Mm, golly, it's going to have to cool off a little bit more. All right, we're gonna let it cool off a little bit more, y'all. I can't stand it. It's too hot. But you can see, falling off the bone good. All right, guys, I went ahead and uh, pulled the meat. Um, it was still hot, and I didn't want I didn't want y'all to hear me screaming and hollering how hot it was. But um, I'm hungry and I'm ready to do this. So now we're gonna shred the uh, 
the meat with two forks and I got the onions already mixed in before we add it to the crock pot. There's one little bone right there. Alright. I thought I did that pretty good. So y'all can see, we're going to put uh, Heinz sausage and gravy in here. Like I said before, we use this on uh, turkey and chicken and put it over uh, light bread or biscuits or whatever. And it is very good. It's, it's a good wintertime meal. But today I felt like we was going to cook this recipe to give y'all another idea of what you can do with raccoon meat. And don't think it's nasty because it really isn't. So we'll pop these tops. We'll put them in the small crock pot. Uh, we got one in there. Let's go ahead and dump him in there. Dump all that meat in there. give it a couple little stirs and move it around you can't tell me that don't look like chip beef and gravy right there man that looks good smells awesome and you can see right here that's all the bones was left out of a shoulder and a hand that's not much at all and they're clean as anything so we're gonna get this right here probably another hour hour and a half and uh, we'll get back with you. We'll get back with you as soon as it's ready. And we're going to put it over open biscuits. The, uh, the gravy and the raccoon is ready. Um, you can use any kind of bread you need to. Biscuits, light bread, hamburger buns, whatever you got available. And tonight we got hamburger buns. Uh, no light bread and didn't have time for no biscuits. It's too late in the day. I'm hungry. So... We're going to get some out here and put it right here. And you can see that looks just like chip beef and gravy. And we'll put a little salt, a little pepper on it. <sighs> Got to have my salt. Can't see it, can't eat it. I need to get a fork. Hold on one minute. The big question, is it good or is it not? And like I said, we do this right here with uh, turkey and chicken. Take your white beef, chip beef. Chip beef, a little sausage flavor. You know, next time you're out doing any trapping or anything, don't be scared to try something different. Like I said, I guarantee your grandparents or your great-grandparents ate raccoon meat. But there ain't nothing wrong with it. If I fed this to you and told you it was chipped beef, you would eat it. But I hope you enjoyed this little short video. And it gives you another option of doing stuff, you know, Never kill animals you're not going to consume, you know. I was brought up that way, and I try to teach it to the younger kids. But anything's edible. Till next time. Later.